Here's an example of a uh, Copernicia alba living on the Treasure Coast or more specifically in Indian River County and um, these things are really cold tolerant so it's not really a challenge to get these to do well here and um, they're not really the most aesthetically pleasing Copernicias. I don't know if in their native habitat they uh, they present themselves a little more nicely but they kind of look a little haggard here even under the best of conditions but anyway they're just the same they, they do well here they adapt fairly well uh, so I just thought I'd show this as a uh, an example of a nice little Copernicia that you can grow on the Treasure Coast or in Indian River County, Brevard. Uh, you can probably go a little further north with them. I'm sure you can grow them in Orlando. Uh, this is a Bailey's, uh, Copernicia baileyana, possibly hybridized though. Um, it, it looks Bailey-ish, but they were kind of concerned when they, well not negatively concerned, but uh, curiously concerned as to whether this was hybridized when they uh, produced the seeds on them. But anyway, this is a good looking Copernicia. It kind of speaks for the species or for the genus. Nice, interesting fan leaves. Nice presentation on it. So, so that's two Copernicias on one video there for your value. Uh, so we got a Bailey's there and then an Alba. Uh, just showing off a couple of Copernicias that do well in uh, Indian River County. And I think that's a multiple planting of, um, of Leucothrinax. I'm not sure. Kind of, sort of, I can't tell. I have to ask my buddy who this is here.